Hello, in this lecture, we're going to cover sequential logic, uh, sequential circuits, and the state machines. Uh, so these are pretty critical parts in sequential circuit design. Um, it's not only useful in digital circuit design, but also in software design. Sometimes you need to consider state machines, um, you know, uh, the states being transferred from one to the other one, and also the, all the conditions need to be uh, considered in the transition. So there are two types of state machines. The so one is called Mealy state machine, and the, the other one is called Moore state machine. Mealy and Moore state machines. So consider a um, digital circuit. Start from the uh, inputs. So signal comes in. And there will be a combinational logic, whatever, uh, you know, uh, combinations of uh, all these logic gates. Depends on the application. Right? So we just draw a black box to represent all these uh, but all these gates at this spot. Let's go next state. It's combinational logic. And then the next one will be memory. It's so flip flops, all these things. And next, output combinational logic. Before the output. And finally, the output. Okay, so the memory must have a clock to trigger it. So if it just follows this uh, flow chart and the memory will will provide a, a state which is a Q and the find the next Q depends on the current Q. Okay so this type of sequential logic is called the more state machine. All right, so for the more state machine, so the output depends only on the current state. If the inputs are not being directly uh, applied after the memory. So whatever the state, since you can see that, this, this is the only arrow is going to make the change for the output. That's the only input for the very last stage. So that's the more state machine. However, for the Mealy state machine, the inputs will take part in changing the output. So if you read the definition for these two types of state machines, I'll say Mealy state machine. The output is a function of present state as well as the Input. For more state machine,
<coughs> the output uh, is a function of the present state only. So uh, the mirror, the, the merely state machine and more uh, state machine, they uh, both hold their uh, different characteristics. So we are going to uh, summarize this later. So let's take a look at some examples first. So you'll know uh, what are they, okay? Before we get into the, the features of uh, each one, probably you can directly summarize uh, by yourself after we run through all these examples. Let's take a look at the really simple one first, a jiki flip flop. <clears throat> the true stable of the jiki flip flop looks like this JKQ, which is the current state, and uh, I use Q prime over here to represent uh, Qn plus one, so it's not Q naught. So you should know that it's whenever I'm using a prime, it's uh, it's actually Qn plus one. It's the next state of the Q. And for J, K, and Q, there are three inputs, so totally eight combinations. And now let's take a look at this. Uh, when JK, both JK are zeros, it's working like a memory. So what uh, what was Q, the, the previous state of Q, you are, the next state of Q will just copy the previous one, so it's not changing. Um, it should be zero, actually. And this is a mem state, all right? The same thing, just copy Q. It's a memory. And when J and K are different, the next day will directly copy J. Right? If you forget this, uh, how the JK flip flop works, just go back to the, uh, the the last module and check out the JK flip flops to stable. So when J, K are different, it's copying J. So J is regardless of Q, okay? So J is zero, and they are different, so J is zero. They're different, J is one, they're different, J is one. And now for this one, uh, J, both J and K are ones, which means it's actually, it's, it's a T flip flop, right? It's, it's a short J and K together and uh, pull it up to the, to the high voltage level. So you're getting a T flip flop, so it's gonna toggle the Q. Okay, so these two states just toggle the previous state. Okay, so depends on this truth table, we can draw a state diagram. Because there's only one output, so actually uh, we can label the zero state as S0, so state zero, and this is state one, and we use a little bubble to circle to mark the two states individually. And let's take a look. So when S, when the state is zero, and it's going to jump to zero, jump to itself for the next state when J and K are zeros. All right? So that's when, when the inputs are zero, zero, it's jumping to itself. It's not moving to anywhere. Okay? Let's look at next. When the state is one, it's going to jump to itself when J and Q are zeros. And the same thing here. Same state from zero to zero to itself, and J and K should be zero one. So that's another condition. So in both conditions, it's going to stay at S zero. It's not changing to S one. And this guy, it jumps from one to zero, like this, when J K R zero one, and it jumps from zero to one when J K R one zero. And jumps from one to one itself. There, one zero, 
and uh, from zero to one, it's one one. From one to one, wait, one to zero, it is one one. Okay, so this is a state diagram of the JK flip flop. Right, this is a very simple example, and it's not involving any uh, a million or more types of uh, state diagrams or state machines. This is just a very simple example with one elbow, right? So now let's look at uh, some more complicated examples. So let's start from the more the more machine first. And uh, if a circuit, if a sequential circuit is given, and we are trying to convert it into a state diagram. So this is from circuit to diagram. Okay, so the purpose is sometimes when you see other people's design, a sequential circuit, you don't know what, what that one is doing, right? So these are just wires and blocks, flip flops. If you can convert it into a two stable and then to a state diagram, you know how these states are uh, trans transitioning uh, to each other. And you can modify the design, you can directly go from there and convert it back to the circuit. All right, so let's look at the one, one example circuit first. So uh, here's a uh, on gate. And input goes to there. And I got two T flip flops. So TA, QA, QA bar. And TB, QB, QB bar. A bar, OR gate, uh, input to TB. And this one is another input for the OR gate. And QB comes back to the input of the AND gate. And um, here is the OR gate connecting here and the QA. And that's a final output. And also this is uh, going to TA. Yeah, I'm not drawing the clocks, okay? So you should know that there should be a clock. Something like this. Mm. Let's double check the circuits, right? Otherwise we, we want to move forward with something which is wrong. All right, so this is right. <clears throat> so uh, the purpose is to convert this circuit into a state diagram. So that's something like this, right? So states and transitioning between the states with all these conditions. And this is a more, uh, we want to convert it into a more state machine type. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look what that looks like. So step one, you need to convert this one into a true stable first. Okay. So the inputs for this state circuit, for this sequential, sequential circuit uh, are A, QA and QB. And the outputs are QA, the next state, QB, the next state. And also, anyone else? These intermediate variables, TA, TB. Okay? And also, Y and Y prime. Y prime is a Y, the next state of Y. Okay? And after you draw this one, what you know is you can just, uh, you can guess 
what are those possible combinations of the inputs. So since you only have three bits for these ones, so the, all the possibilities will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay, that's, that's all of them. And um, but how can you know what are all these 0 or 1s in, in this table on the right side of the table? So you have to look at circuit um, to write down all these logic expressions first before you can fill in all these uh, spots in the table. Okay, so now let's take a look at Q. A bar a QA prime first. What is QA prime? So QA prime is the next state of Q and it's the output of the Q flip flop. So we know that uh, a flip flop, the input is TA and the output is QA prime. So there are only two possibilities for T, okay, for the input. And when T is zero, it's not it's a memory, it's not changing anything. So it's gonna copy the previous state. So when T is 1, it's going to toggle that. So it will be TA bar. So that's TA. What about TB prime? It's TB. It's going to be the same principle. QB, QB bar. All right? So we know QA prime, QB prime. What, what, what about TA? TA is... You can directly write down that because this is a really simple computational logic. It's A and Q B. Okay, what is T B? What is T B? T B is A naught or Q A naught. Okay. What is Y? Y is QB naught or QA. Okay, so of course the next step of Y will be QB naught next state or QA next state. Okay, it depends on uh, these guys. All right, so now we know all this logic. Uh, and we know the inputs. I'm pretty sure we can fill in all the spots in the table. So let's start from QA prime first. So QA prime will t uh, will uh, copy when TA is zero, and uh, we will toggle when TA is one. But we don't know TA yet, right? So now we have to look at the TA first. So TA is A and QB, A and QB. Okay. So in, that means if there's one. Either one of A or QB is zero, it's going to be zero. So that's TA. A and QB. A and QB. So let's write it down. Zero, 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 one, zero, one. All right, so that's TA. What about TB? TB is A naught or QA naught. A naught or QA naught. It, um, it has to be both. Yeah, let's start just working on that. And just do it one by one. So A naught or QA naught. So it's going to be one because both of them will be ones. Mm, okay, QA double check. Um, one. If if on, if one of them are uh, one of them is a one, it's going to be one. Eventually, because you are getting a one in the or logic, right? And this one will be one, 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 and zero, zero. All right. After we know T and T B, we can get Q A prime and Q B prime. Let's take a look. Q A prime. So the previous state is zero. And TA is zero, so it's, it's going to be a memory. So just copy, 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 copy. One is going to toggle that. Copy, toggle, 
right? 00110, double check, 00110, okay, that's right. For QB, it's the same concept, right? So QB depends on TB and QB. So toggle, 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 memory, memory. One zero one zero one. One zero one zero one zero zero one. Okay, that's right. Now, why will be QA or QB not? QA or QB not? Uh, it's gonna be one. It's gonna be zero. One, 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 zero, one, one. One zero three ones and zero one one. All right, and this will be QA next date or QB not next date. Okay, it's the same concept. Um, it's actually you can imagine that only when you have zero one for these two digits, you are getting a zero. Um, but for all the other conditions, you are getting ones. So it's going to be 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Let's double check if this is right. Wait, oh, sorry. 0. You can see that. This is a 0, 1 here. 0, 1, 0, 1, 3, 0, 1, 3, zeros. That's right. So that's step 1. Okay, you, you want to uh, just draw the table first and get all these logic expressions for all these variables and then using all the inputs and the logic expressions to get all these numbers in the table. So that's step one. Step two. Draw the state diagram. Let's see if we can draw it. So keep in mind that's a Moore state machine. More state machine. Um, more state machine. The result, of the state, only depends on the, um, the input. No, no, only depends on the current state. So uh, the output should be included into the bubbles. So just keep in mind. So now let's start from. So you have zero zero, and y is one, right? So this is one state. Because the output is on, the output output only depends on the states, right? So whenever you have zero zero, you 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 know that y has to be this. It's not it, it's not depending on a. So when you are writing down the states, you want to include the y at the same time. So what you want to do is for QA QB, it is this zero zero and y is one. So actually, whatever in the bubble is QA QB and y. All right, so that's one state. QA, QB, and Y. And do you have another state? It's gonna it's gonna be transferred uh, to uh, zero one state and zero one zero actually. It's gonna transfer to this state when A is zero. Okay, that's one step. The first step. And now let's go to the next. It's 0010, zero, 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 which is this guy, uh, jumps to 0, zero, 001, or oh, it jumps back. It's just going back when A is 0. Now, it's 101, zero, one, it's another state, a new state. 101 jumps to uh, 111. 101 jumps to 111 when A0. And then 111 jumps to 101. 111 jumps to 101 when A0.
and 0, 0, 1 here jumps to 0, 1, 0 when a is 1. So a when a is 0, 1, it's going to jump from here to here. And 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0 jumps to 1, 0, 1. Jumps to one zero one when a is one, and now one zero one, one zero one jumps to one zero one itself when a is one. Okay, and one 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 jumps to zero one zero. One 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 jumps to zero one zero. I should say in the middle, boom, like this, when a is zero. Okay? So for the more uh, state machine, you want to keep the states and also the y inside at the same time. Keep in mind, it's y, not y prime. So q, a, q, b, which is the state, and y is the current, the present output. So that's the more state machine. You're done. So the purpose is to convert the circuit to diagram. And that's a circuit, that's a diagram. All right, that's it. And uh, let's look at another example before we quit this video. We don't want to make it too long. Um, I think I want to probably start a new page because it really takes space. Let's look at the new circuit. It's a lot different. And it goes to a JK flip flop. Q1. And uh, here's the OR gate. OR gate goes to K, and I have a NAND gate as well. NAND gate goes to T, I have a T flip-flop here. It's Q1, Q2, right? Um, X is the input, goes to the inverter, and Q1 goes back to the NAND gate. And that's one of the inputs. And also Q2 goes back to, so goes back to here. And that signal goes to here as well. And X is the other input of the OR gate. And this one and this one contribute to the final output, which is Y. All right, let's take a look. X, this two goes there. And I think this is right. This is Q1. That means there's a connection. Right, that's right. So let's start converting this to the state diagram. So keep in mind, what is state one, step one? The two stable, right? We have X, Q1, Q2 are the inputs, and the outputs are Q1 next state, Q2 next state, uh, J, K are the intermediate uh, signals, and Y, Y prime. All the combinations, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Um, but however, we have to write, find out the logic expressions for all these variables first. So Q1, uh, since if we do not know J and K, we cannot know Q1 next day, Q2 next day. So let's get the J and K first. So what is J? J is X not and 
Q2. K is K is Q2 or X. X or Q2. Okay. T is Q1, Q2, NAND. All right. So Q1 prime. What is Q1 prime? It's a JK flip flop. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, all these different states. And 0, 0 is going to give you a memory. So you are getting Q1. What, is, what was Q1 is going to be the next day for Q1 prime as well. And when they are different, it's copying J. And when it is this, it's toggling. Okay, it's Q1 prime, Q2 prime. Zero 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 one one zero one one and memory so Q two zero one Q two prime. All right, and what is Y? Y is pretty simple Q one and Q two. What is Y prime? Q one prime and Q two prime. <laughs> pretty simple, right? So um, let's. Uh, Find out uh, J and K first. So J is X not Q2, X not Q2, right? X not Q2. And logic, so zero, X not Q2. Zero, um, zero, one, zero, zero, um, zero, zero. So well, that's J. How many ones? Oh, this is one. X not Q2. This is one as well. Sorry. This is a one here. Um, all right, no problem. What about K? X or Q2? X or Q2? Zero, one. Um, X or Q2? Zero, one, 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 one. All right, so that's K. Uh, Q1 prime, Q1 prime is, depends on J and Q and the previous state as well. So when J and Q are zeros, it's memory. So it's gonna copy this guy as the same, uh, they are the same and they are ones. So it's gonna toggle this and memory toggle and they are different so so the copy J, copy J, copy J, copy J. Okay, Q2, same, same concept. Memory, no, Q2 is a, Q2 is not JK flip flop. I'm sorry, I made a mistake over here. So Q2 is a T flip flop. Why did I do that? So sorry. So T and Q2, zero, one. So when it's zero, it's gonna copy Q2. When it's that, it's gonna uh, toggle that, right? So Q2 totally depends on T. I didn't even write a T here. Let's add a T in the middle. So T is Q1, Q2, NAND. Q1, Q2, NAND. Q1, Q2, NAND. One, 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 zero, one, 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 zero. So two zeros. Uh, so Q2, it depends on T and the previous state, right? So it's one is gonna toggle that. Toggle, toggle. Memory, toggle. Toggle. Mm. Toggle. Memory. So Q2 prime, got two zeros. Now why? Q1, Q2. Q1, Q2, pretty simple. Zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one. 
and this one, the analogic for this tool, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. No, it's not looking at 3 zeros, 1, and 3 zeros, 1, 2 zeros, 1, and all zeros. Yeah, so this is correct. That's the first step. The second step, we're going to convert this truth table into a state diagram. Do it. So from, let's write down the first day, which is 0, 0, 0. Right, remember, this is Q1, Q2, and Y, right? So in the bottles. So 0, 0, 0 is the first day, 0, 0, 0. And the next day is zero one zero. Zero 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 one zero. And you need x to be zero. And zero one zero go to one zero zero. And you need x to be zero as well. One zero zero will go to one, 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 when x is zero. And one, one, one will go to uh, zero, one, zero, and x is zero as well. And uh, zero, zero, zero will go to zero, one, zero, when x is one, Zero one zero will go to zero zero zero. Go back when x is one. Okay, and one zero zero will go to zero one zero when x is one, and one 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 will go to zero one zero. One 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 will go to zero one zero. 1, x is 1 as well. All right, so that's the state diagram for this circuit. Um, and this is based on the Moore state machine diagram. Uh, so in the next video, we're going to co cover how to convert the state diagram into the circuit and also the, the Millie state machine as well. Okay, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll, I'll see you in the next video.